Cue song. It's weird being back in America. I've been back home now for about geez, two weeks now, and it's been a lot of sitting in my bed, staring off into space. It's okay, we will survive. Has this actually happened? <sighs> I'm currently in line at the drive-thru to get Starbucks. Things you do in America. I realized um, I made a halfway update, and that was awesome. I want to fill you in, because I've been reflecting a lot, about the last six months and what that has kind of looked like. Uh, Zambia was kind of about influence. I didn't speak, I didn't preach, I didn't really talk. But I realized I had influence just by being me. By just showing up, being myself, I actually had influence and like value and weight. And... I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. That was kind of cool. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point in time. Yeah. Malawi was definitely a valley. Oof. And Malawi is the first month where all of my team is together, finally. Nano has finally come from South Africa. We now have the girls and Connor, and we are a team. And I'm on this high from Zambia, and I think I can just piece this all together. We're kind of not coming together, and team dynamics are kind of weird, and we're in this, like, hostel, and it's just kind of awkward, and I take on the burden to make it my responsibility to fix this situation. It wasn't my job to do that. My job was to be me and just have that influence and just, but no, I overreached my bounds and I got frustrated and I was trying to do too many things. So they tested me for malaria one more time. And then I got malaria. And it was positive, it was slight, but it was positive. And I think God was telling me to slow down, Caleb. I should be better in three days. After 10 days in malaria, I had actually a great time in Malawi. Then we hit Ukraine. And I think this is just a bit excessive. Ukraine, oh my gosh, one of my favorite months. Oh, that's pretty great. Because it's the month I became self-actualized. We came to Europe, we have Wi-Fi in the apartment, we had a kitchen, we had a shower, I had an actual bed, and but that doesn't really mean anything because my advanced English class, and that was my like saving grace. I kind of have a weird philosophical brain, and so when they actually had me talking on things, everyone just ate it up. I feel like I could actually teach without trying to actually teach. I could just be myself, and everyone loved me. Yeah, good memories when I think about Ukraine. I think I need this. I think Ukraine is the first time I like actually started to love myself. At least on the world race. Like, you know what? I am awesome. I can show up. I can do good things. I'm perfect just the way I am. And that's the gospel, right? I think I need this. And I'm glad I had that epiphany because coming into Romania... Uh, You've made it to a ministry's diet. What's up? We're at a church today. I think it's actually my first church. I struggled with anxiety before the race. And in Romania, it all came back just... <coughs> I would describe it like my nightmares would wait until I was awake and haunt me in meditation. Weird thoughts would just come in and out and worries about the future and what to do and how's it all going to work out and what should I do with it and blah 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 blah. But what I realized is I actually don't believe in myself. <laughs> That's when God was like, dude, believe in yourself. Yes to the wild call of the untamable spirit, whispering destiny out of us. And I came to the fact that like, yeah, life's gonna be tough and I'm not gonna really know what to do, but if I'm really gonna plunge into the unknown, I gotta believe in myself. Otherwise I will get eaten and devoured. So, Caleb, believe in yourself. What are we making today? Uh, can I get a vente iced coffee? Uh, Albania was about trust because I had to actually trust my team. Uh, it's not lighting, it's, this is all I wanted. I was gonna move on with the filmmaking thing. I decided that after Romania. I believe in myself, I need to go for it, I need to do it. And my ministry host in Albania was all about it. And so I devoted like a week to just doing video stuff, which was awesome. But that also meant 
that I needed to trust my team to take care of other ministry related things. Hello. Not our Misty. No, no. <laughs> and in doing so, I need to trust myself with my own projects and knowing that it would be okay. Look at that. You did it. You cleaned the whole thing. Ta da. Yeah. Then we hit Spain. I can't believe we just did that. That was awesome. <laughs> Spain, 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 Spain. Thank you. We started in the huts and now we're here. <laughs> I think Spain was about everything I'd learned before. All rolled up into one big month and it was really like, Caleb, this is what you're doing and it's gonna be awesome. It's a trampoline! You're gonna do this. This is Super Blair Witch Project right now. This is like a 300 year old mansion. You have a lot on your plate. You're going for big things. And as much as you risked to go on the world race, it's gonna be even more important for you to risk afterwards. Day one. And if I really did believe my hero's journey that I had set out, then you know what? It was time I actually like plunged into the unknown and really started working on actually developing me. And we are going, to be honest, I really don't know. And there's a lot about risk taking, there's a lot about leadership, there's a lot about just humility in general, all rolled up into that. We are leaving the city. We're on what, probably mile two of the whole Camino. Hi. Oh, yeah. And we're about to go to the mountains. Back in Fresno. Hey guys, let's go. Going to Project Searchlight real soon. That should be awesome. So, <sighs> that's that. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Nice. Like, subscribe. Subscribe. There is more to come. Whoop, whoop. It's gonna be exciting. And actually, if you could just comment on your favorite video from the second half that'd be great i would really appreciate that so i know what y'all like and don't like if you could just comment that'd be great all right i'll see you guys next time catch you on the flip side remember be excellent to one another all right peace i'm out do in America. I'm in a car wash. This is crazy. I just want to say thank you for watching this whole thing. It's been my privilege to put this out there and I'm just so thankful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I love all you.